everything on. That Bishop and Barmas are getting the credit for, and he calls the whole thing unfair and rotten. Good news today for President Bush. The results are in on the cyst removed last Friday from his right middle finger. Doctors at Walter Reed say that the growth was benign. And the president got that word at Camp David, where he is spending the three-day Columbus Day holiday. Jose. Trisha, this is when uh, Dr. Torman is normally here, but he has the day off. We have some medical news for you nonetheless. The prospect of hip replacement surgery is a little less ominous these days, thanks to a new custom technique using artificial hips. Latest technology makes it a more accurate and precise part of the patient. Gene West has the report. Irvin Age is the first person in Kentucky to receive the newest type of hip replacement. At 61 years old, an accident caused him to have an implanted hip prosthesis replaced with a customized total hip restoring device that should achieve a near 100% fit in his femoral cavity. Doctors say the new technique is a significant advance in the evolution of total hip replacement. We've been trying to improve the overall fit of the metal into the patient's bone. This cannot be done perfectly with off-the-shelf type cases. The device is novel in that it is designed and constructed on site in the hospital as the patient is undergoing surgery. A silicone mold is made of the inside of the patient's thigh, taken to an on-site lab, and in about 30 minutes, a laser beam scans the dimensions. A computer electronically transmits this data into a milling machine, which creates the joint to the patient's exact measurement. The device is then sterilized and surgically implanted. Doctors say the cost is about the same as procedures using conventional devices, but is less time consuming and doctors say much more effective. Irvin Age, who spent just three months with his new hip, has not quite decided about its effectiveness yet. Uh, this one is still too new to, for me to actually say, but uh, if it does what Dr. Eggers and them says it will, uh, I'll be more satisfied with this one, I'm sure. The device has been implanted in about 1,200 patients in the United States and in Belgium, where it was invented. This is Gene West reporting. Well, early retirement is a more pleasant experience than experts previously believed. That's the conclusion of researchers at Lehigh University and the University of Connecticut. Earlier studies reported that workers who retired early could expect such problems as boredom, depression, and alcoholism. But the latest research shows that 85% of early retirees are either satisfied or happy, and only 15% of them are dissatisfied. And uh, when Jose and I come...